Okay, I'm sure you're wondering why I'm dancing in the middle of nowhere, under open skies, in the midnight. What's really going on? Let me tell you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Mm -hmm. Our friends, Aji and Nimi, are organizing an event. It's an off-roading event. If you haven't seen my last off-roading video, uh, just use the suggested clip thing up there and watch. Or you can check other videos on my channel. So they're organizing this event with monster trucks. And then the day before, there is a party in the wild. wild so we're arriving is... one day earlier to go camping. We did not really camp and we did not glamp either. We're staying in this place called Small World. It's a little beautiful place tucked in the corner of Lucania. Lucania as in Lucania, not... Kenya. Lucania is in Kenya. <laughs> so Small World is the name of the place and we're here. We're going to check in briefly, drop our bags and go to the venue, which is very close to this hotel. We're checking in now and the cutest thing is they actually gave us watermelon juice, fresh wa cold watermelon juice as we arrived. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> I am happy about it. He's all up. There is B. There's always B. This is the... Is this a restaurant? Is this a restaurant? Oh, it's just a lounge. Oh, okay. I like this place. I mean, it's so it's a it's it's called Small World Country Club. So I guess this is the country club vibe of it. I hear it's like a really popular and very patronized place in this um, area. It's just off Mombasa Road. Mm -hmm. I like this cute little chairs. <laughs> Why is the video swimming? I movie. I hello. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to our rooms now. Oh, nice. This place really reminds me of Sarova. I should make a I should make the vlog. It's just I did not get to have so many materials. It was it was one of my first attempts at at vlogging. <laughs> I'm seeing this place is separated from the main 
a club area and we're approaching the hotel the hotel now nice was before COVID-19 hit, COVID-19 pandemic hit. So if you're not seeing anybody wearing masks, please don't go into shock. Don't cringe. It's, it was the good times. This this was the good times. <laughs> before I go and trigger some people's anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> I was almost expecting there to be a TV. Like, no, sorry, there's, there's a TV. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I I love the bathroom. It has this. Uh, these vibes. I don't even know how to describe it. Sorry. My English is running away from me right now. It's like juxtaposing old with new. Mm, I like it. So we've dropped our bags. We're heading back to the car to head to the quarry where the event is happening. Yeah, yeah. That's why we are here. If you haven't met Angie, yeah. once again, watch my off-roading video so you can make the link. He himself and Nimi are yeah. part of the organizers of the event that we're going for. This is Dash and Aman. They were also in the last vlog. <laughs> their drivers their riders they have their trucks and but this time they are not riding they're not driving they're part of the organizers so this is the quarry it's like a proper quarry excavations and rest happen here and it's one of the best places to have the off-roading events with the monster trucks because of the you know landscape and everywhere is already dredged and you know ready for rough driving this is the tent we're approaching the tent now and this is the tent where everything is going to go down that's the part in the wild later in the evening or oh, we're just going to walk around now so you get a feel of the place before party starts this is a checkpoint actually, like like the trucks are going to drive through here and make a huge mess. <laughs> I can't wait for tomorrow to see the action that is going to happen. I think since the last time we were here, a bit more dredging has happened.
this is the camp area this is the area where people are going to camp there's a, there's a lake also it's really beautiful in the morning I don't think there are wild animals in there <laughs> But I wish them luck, Sha. I've, I haven't, I haven't unlocked my camping level yet. I'm still experiencing life small, small. You know, just, let's just be fighting small, small. No need to rush this to God life. Yeah, I know. I know we only live once, but let me go and sleep in my fine bed inside a small world. <laughs> it's such a nice view from up here. I hope I can get to take the videos for the main event tomorrow from this angle. It's a vantage point. There's food. That's the DJ booth. And I hear the DJ is an amazing DJ. I shall get to experience him later. the view is beautiful at night that is one of the many things i love about kenya it has so many amazing views the sunset is beautiful daytime the skies are blue nature is alive we're just heading to the hotel to change and freshen up and we will head back to the venue Meanwhile, this place is beautiful at night. I mean, it's beautiful during the day, but the lighting, it, it got its rights. I hear they also have amazing food, which should make sense. I tasted it. I can vouch for it. Ooh. So... So Mwagi, whose face I don't think I, oh, I think I briefly captured his face. We were together at the hotel and he's the one taking us back to the venue. And it is in his truck that many crazy things happened. So this is DJ Case. He's um he's called African Muzungu. I don't even know what these ones are doing. Let me know if we like. <laughs> Sunday is another riot. And his friend is rioting with him. <laughs> oh, wow. Nimi is also getting down. <laughs>
So it's about 1 a.m. now where the camp organizers are calling everybody to come and clean their tents. Tunde and his friends are going to clean their tents. I don't know if it's called cleaning. We are going to <laughs> to confirm the setup and the location. <laughs> To the promised land we go! And I think it's safe to say that everyone is iry. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, look at this guy. He's guessing by himself for no reason. <laughs> yeah, and that's me. And that's me. I think one of my favorite parts about this this event was the fact that I had this sort of uninhibited fun. It wasn't like I was in a club or in a bar, but there was good music, there was good people, there was alcohol for sure. <laughs> and there was just good vibes all around. And I'm just there in nature with the breeze. I mean, sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's warm. And there are stars in the sky. It was, it was, it was so much fun for me. This guy is absolutely knackered. <laughs> this is his tired face. Very tired face. <laughs> I'm going home. I've lost my voice already. It's 2 10 a.m. And guys, I've had like mad, mad, mad. I'm going to be posting the follow up for the second day, for the event on the second day, with more monster trucks than you've probably ever seen at once. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.